Hi, this is Nick with Duramax Tuner. We got an awesome diesel insights today on Allison transmission relearning. The Allison is a clutch on clutch transmission. That means to make any shifts, it has to take one clutch off, put another clutch on. Sounds easy, but when you're trying to do it with 600 horsepower in half a second, there's a lot going on there and there's a lot of electronics and the controller has a lot of responsibility there. And by controller, I mean these guys. Here's the A40, A50 setup and then the AL5. So let's start. You get the transmission back in the truck. You just put this badass transmission together. This thing's going to hold 800 horsepower. You got the best clutches. You set the line pressure where you want. You got all your clearances set, right? Now it's the controller's job to learn those settings. The first thing you're going to do when you get that new transmission in the truck is initiate that fast learn. And what that's going to do is apply and release all the clutch packs in the transmission so that the Allison control module can understand what the vo clutch volume is for that pack. And once it knows that clutch volume, it'll enable all those fast learn flags. Once you have those fast learn flags set, then you can go through and do your garage shifts. Now your garage shifts are just like they sound. Park to reverse, reverse to drive, drive to neutral. I mean, I can do this all day, right? But any shift you make in the garage is a garage shift. Go through and do those shifts until they feel clean. Then take the truck out on the street. With the truck out on the street, we're gonna set it in one of our smaller tunes, and we're gonna go through and drive it at about 25% throttle. And what that's going to do is allow the truck to make its first one, two, two, three, three, four shifts to go through those shifts and to get a sense of where it's at. Now what the control module is looking for is how fast one clutch comes off, how fast the other clutch applies, and what the total shift time is. And it's going to see that in pressure ramp up, pressure ramp off, and it's going to be able to see that total shift time. Now it's got targets for all that stuff. And what it's going to do is adjust the PWM on trim A and trim B to try and meet those targets. It's going to take quite a few shifts to get through that. Now keep in mind, each shift is, has a different setting, so different taps. So the trims are going to be different for the 1, 2, as they are for the 2, 3, as they are for the 3, 4, so on and so forth. Now they're also going to be different for the 2, 1, for the 3, 2, for the 5, 4 coming backwards. So you're going to have maybe some harsh downshifts. That's natural. Your, your upshift is not your downshift. Those are two different shifts. You're going to have to go through those shifts a multiple of times, say 10 times for each shift. It's good to do that while you're still in the fast learn mode too. Don't shut the truck off. Go through the, you know, go through those shifts. Once you feel they're clean at 25%, then step the throttle position up. Run the truck similarly at 50% throttle. Go through the one, two, go through the two, three, so on and so forth until they feel clean. It's gonna be nice to find a country road to do this. Okay, this isn't something you're gonna do on the way to work to back because you're gonna wanna get through all of those shifts and then come back down all of those shifts. It's a process. Driving 50 miles on the freeway is not going to, not going to accomplish anything. You want to go up, come back down, 50% throttle. Step it up to 75, step it up to 100 until the truck feels clean. Now when the truck feels clean at 100% throttle on the smaller tune, step up to the next tune. Does it feel clean again at 50% throttle? If it does, go up to 100% throttle. Does it feel clean? Okay, then go up to the next tune. You see what I'm getting at? You really don't want to put a big shock on the transmission by going to tune five right out of the gate and expecting this thing to learn. It's got a big difference between where those things were stock, where those trims were at stock, to where they are now. So not to scare you, but just to let you know, you know, if you take the truck out high horsepower tune before it gets a chance to learn, there's definitely some, some downside to that. I mean, best case scenario, you get a little extra clutch wear, the thing lasts and just shifts hard a little while. Worst case scenario, you can get a tie up. And what a tie up is, is where one clutch is applied while the other has not fully released. So for a moment, both clutches are applied. And what that does is stress the parts, the hard parts, to the point of twisting. And it's a really bad situation. Um, I'll show you some pictures of the P twisted P2s, um, common stuff we find on trucks that are run hard without a relearn or uh, see some real abuse in that scenario. So we covered the first week of your new transmission, but what happens over the next million miles? quarter million miles, depending on how you drive. It's important to note that Allison's always adapting. Over the life of your transmission, you're gonna wear the clutches a little bit. You're probably gonna add some power over the life of the transmission. And the controller is gonna see those things. It's gonna see that extra load. It's gonna see that extra um, fluid volume needed to apply those clutch packs. And it's gonna make adjustments to the trims to try and get the trans to continue to shift as good as it possibly can. Now what we normally hear from guys is, hey, I just towed a big trailer and now my trans shifts hard or I just hooked up to a big trailer, my trans doesn't shift as firm as I think it should. That's the Allison learning. It's important to know that. I just took it to the track and now it shifts firm. Yeah, that's good, right? The Allison is gonna continue to learn over the life 
it's going to adjust defuel, it's going to adjust apply rates, um, it's going to adjust the trims. So you're you're going to feel that as you drive the transmission, especially as you make big transitions by changing tune or changing load scenarios. So speaking of adapts, it's important to know there's different adapts for normal mode, for four low, and for tow haul. So the truck may feel like it's shifting great in normal mode. You go to hook up a trailer and put it in tow haul, and all of a sudden, it doesn't feel like it's shifting as cleanly as it did. Give it some time. Okay, you're talking about a significant different load versus throttle position. It's going to take a little bit for the transmission to learn those settings. The important thing is just to be aware that that transmission is learning, to understand that, and to give it time to learn. If it feels like it's shifting a little goofy, continue to run it at that throttle position. Don't flat foot it in order to really teach it, okay? All you're going to teach yourself is how to drain your bank account. I'm Nick, this is Diesel Insights, thanks for watching. If you like these videos and you want to learn more, check out the Diesel Tuners blog, dieseltunersblog.com.